Jesus loves you. And love says repent. Love says repent. Turn to me, says the Lord. Repentance is a good word. Repentance is a good word. It's like you're in trouble. Your house is on fire. And you dial 999. You dial for help. And so repentance is a good word. Repent. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. He loves you. He died for you. He's knocking at your door. Hallelujah. And the only way for freedom is Jesus Christ. Free yourself. Turn to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God is real. He's more real than what you can see. Hallelujah. God is real. Jesus Christ is God. Hallelujah. And he loves you. Turn to Jesus. He's coming soon. Yes. Free yourself. That's what you need to do. Free yourself. The land will always be there. One day you're going to die. Heaven or hell. You die without Jesus Christ. You'll go to hell. Hallelujah. So God says repent. Repent. The Lord Jesus Christ says. Except he repent. You will all likewise perish. Jesus came not to condemn the world, but to save the world. You know why the world is, is in this state? Because the world has rejected Jesus Christ. Hallelujah! The only way to heaven is Jesus. The only way for peace is Jesus. Give up your sin. Turn to Jesus. Your sin will take you to hell. The life you are living, the sinful life, Jesus Christ died for you. Jesus is number one. Jesus, hallelujah, keep loving Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. Praise God. Amen. That's a wise person. A young lady says she loves Jesus. Give Jesus all of your heart. Forsake sin. And God will change your life. God don't want lip service. He wants your heart. Oh, you say you love your wife, but you're cheating. You say you love your husband, but you're cheating. God don't want lip service. God wants your heart. Jesus Christ is God. Yes. That's right. Hallelujah. Give your life to Jesus Christ. The devil is defeated. The devil is a loser. He has no power. Why are you following a loser? Why are you following a loser? You know what? If my team wasn't winning, I'd leave them. I wouldn't follow my team if they was losing. Jesus Christ is a winner. Follow Jesus. Jesus loves you, Manchester. People, wherever you're from. Because I'm sure you're not all from Manchester. Jesus loves the world. He loves you. Ask him into your heart. God is real. God is alive. And God is coming back. 
Whether you believe it or not, God is real and God lives and God is coming back. Read the Bible. Read Matthew 24. Google it and you'll see everything happening today is right there. Matthew 24. Read it. Don't hide away from it. Don't be like the ostrich. Wake up to reality. Jesus. 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 The name above every name. You can call on that name and God will come to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. He's knocking at your door. You drug addict, alcoholic, Jesus can set you free. You suicidal, Jesus can set you free. There is hope, young people. Young boy, young girl, there is hope. Don't take your life, give it to Christ. Don't go to drugs. Go to Jesus. Leave pornography alone. It will destroy your soul for hell. Stop cheating on your wife. Stop cheating on your husband. When you indulge in pornography, you are cheating on your wife and your husband. You think he's just doing it? No. If you're married, and you're looking at pornography, you are committing adultery. You are cheating on your wife. Hallelujah. Jesus says if you look at a woman and you lost, you have committed it. And woman, if you look at a man and you lost, you have committed adultery. Repent. Give your life to Jesus. You're not coming in, you're going out. You're going out. Everyone that comes goes out. Yes. Prepare to meet God. God loves you. God does not want you to perish. But to have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And you will be saved. Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you, sir. How are you doing? Can I introduce you to one of these? God loves you. That's my testimony, my personal experience. And uh, my website's there. And, uh, yeah, you can check it out. Are you, are you Christian? Yeah, you, you're trying to let me switch this off. So, you want to have a conversation with me? Here's two that I just take on that. Yeah, you don't need two. Um, so, um, what, you, what you think about um, Jesus? What you think about God? What's your thoughts? I don't know. Um, I mean, I've heard about it once. I've heard about it Yeah. You, you're, not, you're not sure? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, um, you know, it's faith, you know. Faith is what pleases God. And, and um, faith is, comes from the Word of God. Say, say you got a, a manual. Say, um, a, a, say your phone, a car. There comes with it a manual which tells you how it runs, how to look after it. So now, because there is somebody who made that and they know how it works. So now God has given us the Bible and the, Jesus says that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And so now God has given us the scripture, Old Testament and New Testament so we can get to know God and know who God is and ourselves can have a relationship with God because he says faith commit by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So when you read the Bible, the Bible will speak to you because it's God's word. It will show you God 
how God made everything and how man sinned. It tells you about angels, about creation, about ourselves, and it gives us the answer for our lives so that we can come back to God and be reconciled to God and have a relationship with God. So it's basically simple. It's faith in Jesus, believing that he loves you, he died for you, for your sins, he's paid the price, it is finished, and all you need to do is ask him to come into your heart, inviting him. Because God made, made us with a free will, a free choice. He does not um, force us, you know, we're not robots. He wants us to just respond to his love because he cares for us. And out of his love for what he has done for us, we accept Jesus Christ. And God begins to work in our, in our lives and change us and transform us. You see. So, you know, God loves you. He's got a plan for your life. It's not by chance or coincidence that we meet today. God has got a plan for you. Can I pray for you? Yes. What's your name? Sam. Sam. Okay, Sam, my name's Robert. I'm going to pray for you. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Sam. Father, you love him and you've got a plan for his life. As your word says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I pray, dear Lord Jesus, reveal yourself to him. I pray, Lord Jesus, for your spirit, Father, to minister to Sam. Touch his heart. Reveal yourself to him, Lord. Save him, Lord. I pray blessings over him. I pray for him to overcome every obstacle in his life, every struggle. Let him know, Lord, that you are there for him, that you love him, you care about him. And by faith, when he calls upon you, you are there to give him help and strength and to lead him and direct him in your path. In Jesus' name, I break and destroy every power of the enemy over his life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much. You're I welcome. really appreciate it. You're yeah, doing, you're doing welcome. Good. You're welcome. Have you ever prayed um, a prayer of faith, um, uh, brother? Have you ever prayed a What is a prayer of faith? Okay, I'll explain a little bit to you. I won't take too much of your, of your time, but faith, as I mentioned, is what please God. It says, it says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. Now, faith is faith in God, in His Word, what He has said, what's written. And if God said it, you can believe it and you can trust Him. Yeah? Yeah. Now, the Word of God says, if we confess with our mouth and we believe in our heart that God has raised the Lord Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. So that's what God is calling us to. He's calling you to, to, to just confess the Lord Jesus, that he died for you and he rose from the dead, all for you personally, individually, because, because before God, you are individual and you are unique. There's nobody like you. There can never be nobody like you. You see, that's how God has created you. And he wants you to know him personally and have a relationship with him. You see, so have you ever prayed a prayer of faith? You've tried. Okay, I want to I wanna, um, pray with you right now. I, I want to pray with you. And just say these words after me. But when you're saying it, you are acknowledging the Lord, of course. Yeah? So, so just focus on the Lord and just say after me. Just say, Lord Jesus, I believe. I confess with my mouth. I believe in my heart that you died on the cross for my sins you rose from the dead for my justification I thank you Lord for the forgiveness of my sins I receive you as my Lord and Savior come into my heart Lord Jesus by your spirit make me born again Thank you, Father, Thank you, Father. For, the gift for the gift of eternal life. I believe, I confess, my sins are forgiven. I'm a new person by faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. I give you my life. Take over, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God brother. bless you, man. <laughs> Check my website, yeah? Yeah, God I will do. Yeah. I will do. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, have, you, have you got a Bible? I, I, I want to give you a New Testament. Yeah. Free. Thank new you Testament. so much. Yeah, man. Feel free to get in touch anytime, yeah? I'll check God you out. God bless you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> yeah, have great. Day, yeah, man. thank you.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. You know, if it's for one soul, it's worth it. God is working. And God wants us to work with him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 